I'm glad to finally say, after eight months, I finally hit $1,000 in my dividend portfolio. Let's go and check it out. What's up you guys, my name is James Asias and if you're new to this channel, expect affiliate marketing, dividends, Shopify, and much more. So if you're new, hit that red subscribe button for me down below. Oh man, first off I'd like to say it's been quite a while since I've posted my last video, but if you haven't already, make sure to check it out right here. As you can tell around me, I am officially in a new spot. That's why I haven't been posting so much and for so long is because I've been trying to find a place to stay. But now that I'm finally settled in, I'll be able to post more content for you guys. But besides that, enough of my personal life, let's get to the video. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about what is going on with my dividend portfolio. It has been about eight months since I've started this dividend portfolio journey and trying to earn money passively with dividends. If you wanna see how much my dividend portfolio has grown since my last video, which is right here, that one is the one month mark. I didn't want to post every single month, not yet at least, until I gave it enough room. So what I decided to do was wait until I hit a thousand dollars and today is that day. I don't wanna to take too much of your guys' time, but let's get to it. I'm gonna share my phone with you guys. As I get into it, you guys are going to see what app I use. And if you guys are not familiar with what I'm using right now to build my dividend portfolio, it's called M1 Finance. To give you guys a quick summary about M1 Finance, it's an app that I use for my dividend portfolio. And what I have been doing is dollar cost averaging into the portfolio which I can just set it and forget it because in the long run, I want to live off of my dividends without having to time the market, without having to always look at my stocks, without having to adjust it all the time. So right now, I believe I'm in a good place considering where my portfolio is at. If you guys want to take a peek of M1 Finance and what they're all about, click in the link in the description down below and then that'll take you to M1 Finance. Definitely check it out. And if you do use that link down below, it is an affiliate link. It will help me and the channel out so that I'm able to push more content out for you guys. Okay, you guys, we are finally in my phone. I'm going to have what you guys see right here just so that you guys have a better visual. So as you can see in my portfolio, I reached the $1,000 mark. It might not be a big deal to some of you guys, but personally to me, I believe this is a big achievement. I was able to save money by dollar cost averaging, not timing the market and just setting it and forgetting it. So personally, that's a big achievement to me. Now enough of me being all happy and things like that, let's get to it. So as you can see in my dividend portfolio, I'm at $1,051.83. My portfolio is 14.07% in the green, which is good. And in dollar value, that's $69.83. It's divided into sections or sectors is what I believe it's called. Correct me if I'm wrong, Make sure to comment down below and if I miss say anything, so bear with me. So how I did it was, first of all, it's technology, real estate, consumer defensive, consumer cyclical, materials, industrials, healthcare, financial services, communications, energy, and semiconductor. We're going to go swipe over and we're going to look at my portfolio as a whole. As you can see here, I started at $97.44. That's when it started to actually show on this chart and make adjustments from that point on. As you can see, it's going up constantly and nothing's going down. Yes, over time there was minor changes, but overall you can see that my portfolio is going up. 
The reason why I believe it's going up is because I'm dollar cost averaging every two weeks. So if you guys don't know, when it comes to M1 Finance, in order to initiate a trade from what I've learned, you need to at least put in $25. After the $25, it will start to automatically allocate into your pie based off of percentages per slice and what stocks are in each slice, where it's just a flat line. So to give you guys a general idea, what happened was I stopped doing dollar cost averaging because I wanted to increase my, my amount. Because initially when I first started, I was, I was still learning about the app. I didn't know that you had to invest $25 in order to initiate investing into the stocks of your portfolio. So I was like, okay, I did 18, 20, and then 25, and then that's when it started actually doing its thing. After that, I was like, okay, let me put in $40 every two weeks. After that, it had to change because based off of my current lifestyle, my bills, things like that, I had to bring it down. So uh, I would say the past three, four months, I would allocate $35. And I would say I'm doing pretty good. And because I'm dollar cost averaging, Every two weeks, $35, I was able to hit $1,000 in my portfolio in over around eight months. Continuing on, as you guys can see, my current value is, like I said earlier, $1,051.83. Net cash flow is $992.03. So from what I've learned so far, that is the amount of dollars that I put in to the portfolio. Right under that is market gain, which is $59.80. I feel like that's pretty good. Some other would say that it could be better, but as of right now, I think I'm in a steady place. Total gain, $69.83. Total gain is market gain from the market and from earned dividends. So since this is a dividend focused portfolio, $10 is okay for dollar cost averaging $35 every two weeks. Just real quick, if you guys don't know what dollar cost averaging is, it's essentially a set it or forget it system where you put X amount of dollars, whether it's bi-weekly, whether it's daily, annually, things like that. It's just so that it's automated so that you set it and forget it and I believe that my happy medium is at $35. So my total return is 14%, about 14%. Let me know in the comments down below what your guys' total return is ever since you started your portfolio. Now, looking at my portfolio, is this something that you guys can do? Putting at least $25 every other week the reason why I say every other week is because most of us have a nine to five job, whether it's corporate, anything like that, you work for a job and you get paid for it. I believe allocating some of those funds just so that you can build your own wealth, not from a job, is a good achievement. So if you can do that, I would highly recommend M1 Finance. Oh my goodness, that was so long. Sorry that it was such a long video for you guys, but I just wanted to give you guys a somewhat quick update of my dividend portfolio. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below. And that's where my portfolio currently stands at right now. If you guys want to get my exact pie in real time, so if I do make changes from this video onto the next video and many more, you guys will be able to basically copy and paste my portfolio in the link in the description down below. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that notification bell as well to see when I post my next video. Other than that, I hope you guys have a good day. Peace out. Good night. I'll catch you guys later.